Congressman Lacey Clay is District 1. He represents the St. Louis area, which is by far the hardest hit portion of the state. Congressman, thanks for joining us. You are at Christian Northeast Hospital this evening. First of all, give us an update on what's happening in your district as you continue to deal with really such a high volume of cases there. Thanks for having us uh, on this congressional town hall, John. And I'm coming to you live tonight uh, from the epic center of the COVID-19 pandemic in Missouri, uh, North St. Louis County. After tonight's town hall meeting, uh, I'll be helping a, a local restaurant provide a special dinner uh, for all our health care heroes who work here at Christian Hospital uh, on the front lines of this emergency. And as of tonight, St. Louis City and County, uh, we've recorded almost 5,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases and almost 300 deaths in this community is experiencing an unprecedented public health crisis, unlike anything that we have seen in over a century. You know, Congressman, we've heard a lot about the CARES Act, which you've been a part of, the Paycheck Protection Program as well. We're now finding out that those aren't covering everything, nor everyone. You are on the Financial Services Committee, so what would you like to see future legislation do to help people in your district recover really in the most efficient manner possible? Well, and, and uh, the, the Financial Services Committee is, is uh, uh, incorporating into CARES Act 2 um, some of what was left out and, and, what, and some of the, the holes that we didn't fill in the CARES Act 1. And one was a lesson that we learned uh, from the 2008 housing crisis, and that was to prevent uh, the the foreclosure crisis from happening. So Chairwoman Maxine Waters and I have introduced the bill uh, to uh, um, to stop all evictions, uh, to help landlords out uh, through forbearance, uh, and to uh, stop all foreclosure for a year uh, and, um, after this uh, until this pandemic is over. Uh, and, and, and we think that that will go a long way in keeping people in their home, keeping renters in their apartments, uh, and helping the landlords who are also, uh, under, under stress yeah. uh, because they still have to have to pay those property taxes. Yeah, Congressman, that's and, a huge and, issue, and, especially and, in St. Louis with, uh, with what people are facing, not paying their rent, not paying the mortgages here. We got one more for you here very quickly. Viewer question, Michael from St. Louis says, what do you say to people who may think this is being blown out of proportion? You've seen it. What, what do you say to other people who aren't seeing it? Here, here's what I say is that um, the, the uh, Spanish flu of 1918 and 19, uh, went through a period initially where uh, there were deaths that occurred and infections. Uh, then uh, we dropped our guard in this country and uh, hundreds of thousands of more Americans died. So I don't want to see that happen again. And, and I say to all Missourians, let's follow uh, the medical advice uh, of, of public health professionals of the CDC, follow the guidance, uh, and and uh, 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 wear your mask. All right. Uh, pr protect others. 